Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Today I am going to do a climb analysis of Elbow Hill. Elbow Hill is located here in Brookfield and this is a QOM attempt. So it's about a little over half a mile long. Um, average grade is 7% and the previous, the time to beat previous time is three minutes and 57 seconds. So um, this is the start of the segment here. Let me explain to you what you're looking at on the screen. Um, I have the power, cadence, heart rate, and speed. And right below that, it's kind of small. I didn't realize it was this small, but it's the timer. Okay, that's the duration. And on the bottom right hand of the screen is the average grade. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, right now it's at 6%. So the segment started slightly before um, the little hump there. And then we have a flat section um, or it goes a little bit downhill and then it goes back up again. So Jason and I have ridden this road um, a couple of times already in the past. And I've been eyeing, trying to get the QOM for this, um, just sort of like studying the the climb itself and um, I find that studying the climbs uh, really helps to snag a QOM or a KOM and so I've studied the climb a couple of times already and just tested uh, this particular morning I woke up and I wanted to test my fitness and see if I can can do this climb so uh, when you saw there it goes downhill and then steep uphill so right now we're at 9%. So this uh, is called, the segment or this road is called Elbow Hill Road because it has a switchback that looks like an elbow. So this is the first part of the switchback here. And um, this is probably the steepest part. And my plan was to go seated up this climb because I can serve a lot more energy doing that. Um, it was still a hard effort though. Uh, you could see my heart rate is at 189 beats per minute, but it was still a hard effort. And I remember thinking to myself when I was doing this climb was how I feel like I was going faster than I had in the past. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I was able to go up that climb, not easily, easily, but I was able to um, go up the climb with less effort than in the past. And, um, I wasn't even going in the lowest gear in my cassette there. So the second part of the climb is another switchback and it's not as steep as the first, um, switchback. So it's probably only in the single digits here. Um, right now you can see it's 8%. So I decided I was going to, um, crank up the cassette. Um, I don't, I wasn't looking, but, um, I got off the saddle here. You can still, you can see me swaying, got off the saddle for the most part. Um, and I was starting to feel, um, winded and starting to feel the, uh, lactic acid buildup in my legs. Um, and at one point I thought that the time to beat was 326, three minutes and 26 seconds. And it turned out it was three minutes and 56 seconds or 57 seconds. So I got my timing wrong. And so shortly after this, you'll see my power drop here. And that was me thinking I didn't get the QOM and I was just, I wasn't going to go for it. And then I realized immediately that <laughs> luckily I realized that uh, false alarm. It was 357, 357 was the time. And then I went, um, I went hard again. So, um, so right here, you could see the power go up and, uh, ar around the stop sign is where the segment ends. So I did end up getting the QOM. Um, uh, my time was three minutes and 53 seconds. Average speed was 8.8 .8 with an average power of 249 watts. So I'm heavier than the previous, than the woman who got the previous QOM. I think her power was in the lower 200. So um, I had to use up more power because I'm heavier uh, just to get this QOM. 
And I only snagged it by four seconds. So I think it was because I decided to go a little easy um, at that point where I thought that I didn't get the QOM and then I went hard again. So I think that might have been the reason uh, for a uh, four second difference. But I'm happy with it. I was, uh, I've been eyeing that climb for a while now and I got it. Um, I had good legs. Um, and that was the, that was during my, my, this was during my recovery week, uh, second week of recovery after my hundred mile ride. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my climb analysis. Um, if you liked this, please give it a thumbs up, uh, and I will see you guys again next week.